Hey guys, it's That Sweet Simmer. Welcome back to my channel for an updated current household for the month of August. So if you didn't watch the last current household for this family, I will go ahead and put it on the screen right here, a little annotation for you to click on, or it will be down in the description, either one, I don't really know, but you know. This is the updated current household for my Coleman family, and yeah, in the last current household, it was just my girl... Jacqueline Coleman in university and she had her boyfriend and all that fun stuff so yeah we are a lot not a lot further into the future but you know that kind of stuff and it is time for an update um but I also wanted to let you guys know that I have started playing up the Manson family again so if you haven't seen that current household either I will go ahead and link both of those in the description as well because I'll probably do an update on them soon because I'm really enjoying playing with them as well as this family so yeah I'm kind of playing two current households which is kind of cool but you know it kind of keeps me interested because when I'm playing one and I get bored of it I'll just go and play with the other and then I'll get bored of that one and then come play the other so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the family so right now we are in the town of Twinbrook it is so beautiful I love it so much especially with lighting mods and stuff like that and the seasons it is just gorgeous so we live over this little bridge thingy in this lot right here and this house actually came in the town of Storybrooke County. They did live in Storybrooke County, but I was having a lot of glitches, so I uninstalled a lot of my custom content worlds. So yeah, <laughs> including Storybrooke County. So I did move them to Twinbrook, which is where Jacqueline originally lived. So yeah, that's exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the house really quickly first. Of course, I did not build it, but I did furnish it myself. So I'm not gonna do an elaborate like tab mode tour, but you know. This is the garage. We have a pet bed and a laundry area <laughs> and a cat condo and then a car. We have a 2009 Mazda CX-7 and a 2008 Subaru Impreza WRX XTI. I don't know. And then over here we have a little entryway. I completely furnished and decorated this house, but like I said, I did not build it. Um, the little entryway, we have like a little seasons thingy and a store thingy. We have an alarm because people like to rob our house a lot for some odd reason. This is our little dining table, which is really small. I could barely fit it in here. I'm surprised I did. And then we have a little fish terranium thing, which I'll show you guys how many fit. We have a lot of fish in there. And then this is our living room. I think it is so cute. It is one of my favorite living rooms I think I've ever done. Seriously, it's so pretty. I love it a lot. Um, these couches aren't even from the same pack or same whatever. We have a little incense holder and incense burning. And then we have a little picture from when my son was still in university. So cute. And we have some little knickknacks from China which I still need to find a place for this one. It's kind of just awkwardly sitting there. Oh, and then they have their little seasons, what is this called? Greeting card photo, which is really cute. We need an updated one, and I'll tell you why in just a second, but you could probably tell anyways. And then we have this little empty space over here, which we have like a little baby swing thing. Swing thing? <laughs> Look at me. I can make a rhyme anytime. Um, and then this is the master bedroom. It is super cute. It's blue and yellow. One of my favorite themes to do. And then this is my sim and her boyfriend while she was pregnant. Super exciting. I love taking pictures and putting them up around the house. So yeah. And then they have this cute little like patio thing that they just go out and like watch the stars or something on. I was gonna put like a chess table out there, but we don't really need it right now. And then really quickly, this is the backyard. I made it myself. It's really bad, but, you know, it, we have, like, a little clothesline, which we actually need to get the clothes off of, and then we have this nifty little, like, pier thing over a pond that we have that we can actually fish in, so that's fun, and then down here we have, sorry, I'm just all over the place, we have a bathroom with a really nasty toilet, yum, and then <laughs> more laundry stuff, super cute, and then our kitchen, which is actually the most annoying kitchen of life, I hate it. It's so hard to do anything in this kitchen. I don't know why, just because it's like kind of oddly shaped. There's doors and it's just kind of annoying, but you know what, we make it work. And then we go upstairs and it's really empty actually. We have a little desk for where my sim does her writing. And then we have our baby's room right here, whose name is Braylon, just letting you know. Um, and then she has a little cute little Rapunzel looking thing, even though she can't actually go out on it. This is for a future baby. So is this, but right now we're using it as an exercise room because one of my sims likes to exercise. And then this is the kids' bathroom, 
which isn't really used right now but yeah that is pretty much it for the house and this is what it looks like while I'm playing it you guys have probably seen it if you've been to one of my streams but if you don't uh, follow me on twitch at that sweet summer 16 shameless self promo well, there I go so now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the family so we started off with this sim Jacqueline Coleman who if you watch the last current household was my main sim so this is her she's super cute right now she's not wearing any makeup because she's in her pajamas or what you call, call it <laughs> she graduated from university with a communications degree she got an A she had a perfect GPA which was super cool but for some reason when my sims graduated university they did not get another trait which is really annoying but whatever it's really not a big deal <laughs> so she graduated from university she has nine days until she ages up into a full adult which is crazy I feel like I just started playing these guys but I've really been playing them for a lot longer than it says right now it says week two day seven but we've really been playing them for like seven or eight weeks because of university it doesn't account for that for some reason um, she's a Taurus like me. She likes Spiceberry, Ratatouille, and indie music. She's a natural cook, bookworm, family-oriented, schmoozer, and charismatic. Her lifetime wish is to be a Star News anchor, and she is currently working on that. She's in the journalism level 6 investigative reporter. She's doing pretty good except for stories and reviews, which I am just too damn lazy to do, so... Yeah, that's that. She has a lot of skills. She has mastered photography, mastered writing, level 3 social networking, level 5 logic, level 6 handiness, level 6 cooking, level 6 charisma, and level 3 athletics. So she has some skills going for her. She has some cooking books because I'm trying to get her into cooking and all that fun stuff. So that is pretty much it about my girl. I will go ahead and show you her everyday wear. Um... It's, it's really cute. It's actually from the store, I'm pretty sure. So I didn't use custom content, which I'm so proud. But yeah, this is her every day. It's really cute. Perfect for fall and winter when it becomes winter. And her hair, I'm pretty sure, is from Plum Blobs. You can get it off Plum Blobs. And then in university, she met Clark Gant. His name is Clark Gant in university. But yeah, cute face. Same. Me too. Yes! Me too. Okay, let's be, uh, move on. <laughs> um, put him in his everyday wear, which is really boring, but, you know, what can you do? Can you please put a different look on your face? Okay, so this is him. He's really, really cute. This is how he came in university. I did not change a thing. He is adorable, and I love him. He is a couch potato, flirty, daredevil, irresistible, childish, and he likes pop music, fried peanut butter and banana sandwich and aqua music and he's a Capricorn he ages up to be an adult in eight days and he likes or he wants to be living in the lap of luxury which is not his original lifetime wish I don't remember what it was but I changed it so yeah he's in level four business corporate drone doing pretty good but we moved town so he's not very close with his co-workers anymore when we lived in our other town Starkbuck County he was close with all his co-workers and it was a great time so yeah he has lots of skills too he is level four almost five martial arts level two social networking level six handiness level two cooking level eight charisma and level two athletics so that's fun yeah he has lots of stuff <laughs> and then he has the long distance friend thing because I hate how fast you lose friends in this game. But yeah, that's him. <coughs> Sorry about that. I just like choked to death. So rip. Okay. Anyways, this is their daughter who just aged up like this morning in game. She is so damn cute. Um, th her name is Braylon Coleman, which is really cute. I have never used the name Braylon and especially the way I spelled it, it was really unique and I loved it a lot so yeah this is Braylon she's a heavy sleeper artistic she literally just aged up like an hour ago not even kidding you um she likes kids music tri-tip steak you go girl and aqua and she is a cat or a uh, Scorpio she has no lifetime wish she's a toddler obviously her outfit I'm pretty sure is from the store and her hair is from plum blobs or chazzy bazzy either one they both have it so ah no okay anyways she has no skills no nothing she just aged up she's just a baby so yeah and then they have animals which i will introduce you to so uh, cute this ah this is riley 
Riley Coleman. She is so cute. She's our little fat cat. And we got her when she was a kitten, like really brand new. Like she still had the full like kitten life stage to go. So she was just born. Um, she's not destructive and quiet. That is what she came with. And then she was trained to be neat because we don't want no messes around here. Um, she's really good friends with uh, 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 <laughs> Clark. And she's friends with Jacqueline, but she keeps marking Clark. So I think they're going to become BFFs one of these days because like you can see he has the marked moodlet or whatchamacallit so yeah and then they got wait is that pretty much it about her yeah she doesn't have any skills or anything she's just kind of like a house kitten and then we have our new little doggy this is may coleman she's so cute i spelled it like m-a-e i think it's really cute she is hyper quiet and independent and i forgot her breed but crap i wish i knew her breed i wish it said her breed but it doesn't. But she has six days until she ages up into an adult dog. And she doesn't really know a lot of the family yet. We literally just adopt her. So adopted her. Uh, anyways. So she has no skills or anything. But she has it made in the shade right here. In this beautiful big bed. So yeah. Jacqueline is also best friends with. Or was best friends. But they're good friends now. This girl July Forster. If you saw my 4th of July create a sim. That is her and then her boyfriend, Ben, but, uh, yeah, I need to go change her skin, apparently, because I uninstalled all my skins, but, you know. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for this current household. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will insert some screenshots at the end of the video, and, yeah, you guys don't have to watch those, of course, but... If you want to, go ahead and do that. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this current household and hopefully I will be doing more updates on them. I will also be updating you guys on the Manson family, which I haven't played since December or I haven't uploaded them since December. So yeah, it was going to be kind of fun to relive them. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Check out my social media links down below. Subscribe if you're not already and you'd like to be for more content from moi. And I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.